get a lot of questions of how you can use GPT-3 to write a summary or a blog post from a prompt that is over or close to 4,000 tokens. So basically how you can summarize something like this text that is about 4,000 words into something like this. So let's have a look at how this can be done and what kind of results you can expect. Okay, so I made this flowchart of how we can do this. So if we start on the top left here, we can collect a large file or a data set of text that is, let's say, over 4,000 tokens. We save that text into a file. Then we use Python to split that large text file into smaller chunks. Yeah, and those chunks are saved into separate text files instead of one big one. Then we take GPT-3 and summarize each of these chunks. At the end there, we write all the summarized files uh, from the chunks into one text file with Python. And then we take GPT-3 again and use that file to write an article or a post like from the summarized file. Then we will end up with an article or a post or a summary, whatever you want, from that large initial data set or a file to something that is much more compressed as we will have a look at uh, soon. Okay, so here I have my big text file. It's basically a summary a very extensive summary of one of my favorite books that is the psychology of money by morgan housel and you can see here this is a quite a long text file uh, i think it's around 4000 words it's 3900 words and 22000 characters so this would uh, usually be very hard to use in gpt3 because it's so long but if we use this script uh, here we can just paste all of this text into our input file and if I run the, when I run the script now, you can see that it uh, compresses it or splices it into smaller chunks that we can use in GPT-3. So before we run the script, uh, this is what I want to end up with. I want to end up with an engaging step-by-step -step guide from the text above. So that is gonna, the text above is gonna be our, yeah, compressed summary of the input text. So uh, let's see what kind of step-by-step -step guide we can get here. Okay, so when I run this script now, uh, it's going to start creating what I call these compressions. Uh, and I think in this case, it's probably going to be like five or six of them. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah, so here we can see we have the first out of five compressions. So the compressions is basically one chunk of the input text that is gone through the GPT-3 engine and summarized. So we're gonna get five out of this. Uh, it's probably just gonna run for a minute and I'll take you back when it's done. Okay, so that was the script finished. We can see that at the end here, we have something just what I call text. And this is our step-by-step -step guide. So let's have a look, closer look at this guide we got from this. Okay, so basically what we have done here is that we turned all of this text, about 4,000 words, and turn it into just this. So it's like a super compressed text or summary or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty good. I actually made a voiceover for this and matched it up with some images. So I'm going to play this after this part now. Uh, if you want to watch that, stay. And if not, thank you for watching up to this point. Understand the basics of finance. Read Morgan Housel's book The Psychology of Money to gain a better understanding of the basics of finance, such as controlling your time and money, removing your ego from spending decisions, and leaving room for mistakes. Consider luck and risk. It is important to recognize that success is not determined entirely by individual effort and decisions, and to understand the role of luck and risk in managing finances. Warren Buffett's advice is to focus on keeping money rather than getting money, and to have a diversified portfolio of low-cost index funds with some cash reserves in order to mitigate risk and avoid panic selling. Leave room for error. Investing involves more than just following a model and holding 1-5% to in cash. It involves leaving room for error, understanding the psychological impacts of investing, and accepting the volatility, fear, doubt, uncertainty, and regret that comes with it. Recognize wealth versus riches. Being wealthy provides flexibility of having more of the items you want in the future while being rich offers short-term opportunities. The optimal portfolio is one that allows you to sleep at night and account for human factors. Don't be swayed by others. It is important to understand the game you are playing with money and not be swayed by what others are doing. Pessimism can be persuasive, but it is important to remember that problems often create demand for change. Evaluate investment results. 
When evaluating investment results, look at the entire portfolio rather than individual investments and consider your emotional needs. Stories about the past may not accurately predict the future, and it is important to recognize that you do not have full control over the uncertain world.